वेलकम टू दिस लेक्चर ऑन डब्ल्यू टू डबल वन वी शेल रैप अप दंसेप्ट ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सर्किट इन द टू डेज लेक्चर सो लेट स्टार्ट द ओनली थिंग विच इज लेफ्ट नाउ इज दीरीज आर एल सी सर्किट लेट एस ड्रॉ अ सीरीज आर एल सी सर्किट दिस इज अ सोर्स फ्री नेटवर्क दैट इज वी डो नॉट हैव एनी सोर्स कनेक्टेड विद दिस with this circuit and therefore the response that we shall undertake with through this uh, particular uh, circuit shall be shall be a natural response so we have the voltage v not here across this capacitor this is the inductor l and here we have the resistance r for all the series circuits the <clears throat> point is to find the current it that flows through through this circuit and once we calculate the value of this it we can then find out the value of the voltage across individual components whether it is an inductor resistance or the capacitors so find it for this series rlc circuit so the the thing what we can do here is we shall apply the kirchhoff's voltage law here based on this kirchhoff's voltage law we know that the voltage across the resistance plus the voltage across the capacitor plus the voltage across the inductor their sum should be equal to zero using the ohms law this resistance is i into r plus 1 over c integral 0 to t tau dt plus l di over dt that is equal to zero we have actually used this capacitor equation for the for the voltage across the capacitor but we also required to mention the initial voltage on the capacitor to model it perfectly to do that that is 0 to t tau dt plus v dot and this represents the capacitor model now here we have written this equation let us say this is equation number 1 now if we want to do some mathematical you know arrangement here we will end up with the same equation that was used to derive the expressions for the parallel rc circuit so let us see how we can do that now this can be written as i di over dt if i differentiate it with respect to t let me write it as so r di over dt plus l and this can be written as d square i over dt square plus r over l di over dt plus i over lc that is equal to 0 and if i say this is my equation number 2 then this equation is the same equation as we have uh, uh, seen for a parallel connected rlc circuit so we have ultimately reached the same uh, second order differential equation and therefore the solution that exist for a parallel rlc circuit shall be valid for this particular equation as well so i can write this equation number 2 as equation 2 can be written as s square plus r over l s plus i over l c and that is equal to that is equal to 0 and again uh, this is a characteristic equation of the differential equation and therefore it will have two roots one is s1 and one is s2 and that will be minus r over 2 l plus minus under root r over 2 l square minus 1 over lc and this can be attributed as alpha and this as an omega not so the only difference that comes up in a series connected rlc circuit or a parallel connected rlc circuit is the value of this neighbor frequency alpha 
So the alpha for a parallel printed RC circuit is equal to R over 2L. Previously, it was equal to 1 over 2 RC. And the omega naught is equal to 1 over under root, under root LC. Now, once we have these alpha and omega naught available, then the laws that uh, that we studied for the uh, for the second order circuits with parallel RLC branches remains the same here. So, if we have this omega naught square less than alpha square, then the response is an overdamped response. For omega naught square less greater than this alpha square, it is an underdamped response. And if we have this omega naught square equal to alpha square, then the response is actually a critically damped response. And for these equations, the solution that uh, we calculated for the parallel printed RC circuit is also valid. So we can say we can say that it is a1 e to the power s1t plus a2 e to the power s2t and also we have for an underdamped response we have b1 e to the power minus alpha t into cosine omega dt plus b2 e to the power minus alpha t into sine omega d t and for a critically damped response this i t is equal to d1 t e to the power minus alpha t plus d2 e to the power minus alpha t for so for any second order series connected rc circuit we first find out the roots and then we can uh, find out the values of of the neighbor frequency and the uh, and the omega naught which is the resonant frequency or the natural frequency and then we also find out the damping frequency in case the circuit is actually an uh, is actually an under damped uh, circuit and thereafter we apply the equations for the values of the current once this current is known thereafter we can find out the voltage across each individual element let us do an example this is example number 8.11 uh, in your textbook Nelson maybe the addition that you are following this this might be a example 9.11 uh, in your textbook so let us draw the circuit so we have a capacitor here that has an initial voltage 100 volt and this capacitor is 0.1 microfarad it is connected with a switch that is closed at time t equal to 0 thereafter we have an inductance which is 100 milli henry and it is connected with this resistance and the circuit closes at this uh, resistance that is equal to 560 ohm so we are tasked to find out this it uh, and the only initial condition we have is for this uh, for this capacitor which is uh, which has an initial voltage of 100 volt for time t less than 0 so we need to find out it and vct for time t greater than or equal to 0 remember that this is the uh, this 100 volt is equal to vc as well so we shall start with this uh, particular equation so writing down the initial conditions as per the initial condition the voltage initial voltage across this capacitor vc0 negative is equal to 100 volt because this switch was open for t less than equal to 0 therefore this i l 0 negative is equal to 0 ampere so there is no there was no current in the inductor prior to the switching of the circuit at time t equal to 0 so we will first find out uh, the uh, whether this circuit contains an underdamped response overdamped response or a critically damped response to do that we first need to find out what is this omega naught omega naught square is equal to 1 over under root lc so omega naught is equal to 1 over lc and that is equal to 10 to the power 8 radian per second. The second thing here is we need to find out what is the uh, value of this alpha square. Alpha square is equal to R over 2L whole square and that is equal to and that is equal to 2800 radian per second. Now because using this particular thing omega naught square is greater than this alpha square therefore uh, this is actually an underdamped response so we have 
to use the equation for the under damped response of the circuits and thereafter we will be using this particular equation uh, for for the solution of this numerical because this con equation contains omega d as well therefore the next step is to find out what is this omega d so omega d omega naught square minus alpha square and that is equal to 9600 radian per second and therefore we are left only with this b1 and this b2 so to find out with this v1 we know that i0 negative is equal to 0 is equal to b1 so this term becomes equal to 0 this whole term become equal to 0 and we are left only with this equation b2 to find out this b2 we need to know what is the di0 positive over dt that was equal to v0 over l for this particular circuit it will not be c rather it will be l and that is equal to 1000 ampere per second so you should notice one thing here that previously for all the parallel connected rc circuit because we were interested in finding this dv zero positive over dt therefore it was connected with the uh, with the current through the capacitor and the capacitor however for a series connected rlc circuit the aim is to find out this current and therefore the voltage across the inductance and the value of the inductance play a role in finding the value of di zero positive over dt and that is equal to 100 uh, that is equal to 1000 ampere ampere per second so b2 becomes equal to 1000 divided by 9600 and that is equal to 0 0.104 to ampere and this gives me a solution of it to be equal to 0 0.1042 e raised to the power minus 2800 t into sine of into sine of 9600 t ampere for t greater than or equal to 0 and using the expression for the kvl if we apply the expression for the kvl then we see t is equal to 100 cosine of 9600t plus 29.17 sine of 9600t e to the power minus 2800t and that is for t greater than or equal to 0. So this is how we can solve a second order circuit. There are two important things in a, in a series noted RLC circuit. The first thing is that this neighbor frequency is now dependent on the value of the resistance and the inductance. Previously, it was dependent on the value of the resistance and the capacitance. The second important point here is that to find out this d i zero positive over d t, we need to uh, establish the relation between the voltage across the inductor, uh, across the capacitor V naught, and the value of the uh, of the inductance L. Right. So this is the uh, this is the voltage across the across the inductor and the inductance and this gives us the this particular thing let us summarize these let us summarize the second order circuits so we have for an over damped response we have either the voltage or the current whatever it is let us say it is xt and that is equal to a1 e to the power s1t plus a2 e to the power s2t right this is the natural response of the of the circuit let us write it here as natural response for the under damped response we have xt equal to b1 e to the power minus alpha t into cosine omega dt plus b2 e to the power minus alpha t into sine of omega dt and for a critically damped response xt is equal to d1 e to the power minus alpha t into t sorry d1 t that is equal to d1 t e to the power minus alpha t plus d2 e to the power minus alpha t and this gives us the natural response of of these under damped over damped and critically damped system for the 
uh, values of s1 s2 uh, the initial conditions or the coefficient equations are the coefficient equations that are uh, used with this particular um, you know, equations are x0 is equal to a1 plus a2 and the second thing is dx over dt 0 is equal to a1 s1 plus a2 s2 and for this particular expression we have x0 is equal to b1 and the second expression is dx over dt 0 is equal to minus alpha b1 plus omega d b2 and for the last one we have x0 equals to d2 and dx over dt 0 is equal to d1 minus alpha d2. These are the expressions for the for the nature response. For the step response, we only have to add up. For instance, I will write uh, only for this one. Let us write the step response for this overdamped response. Then xt is equal to xf, which is the final value, plus a1 prime e to the power s1t plus a2 prime e to the power s2t. And also we have this x0 is equal to xf plus a1 prime plus a2 prime and dx over dt0 is equal to x is equal to a1 dash s1 plus a2 dash s2. And this gives us the, uh, on the similar way we can find out what is this xt uh, for us against a step response. We only need to add up this xf here and then we will uh, use the same equation here and also here we will uh, we will add up this xf for for against for a for a step response so this x xt could be anything for example if we are dealing with a series rlc circuit then this xt becomes equal to it and the rest of the equation remains the remains the same uh, similarly, for a parallel connected RLC circuit, if we want to find out what is the overdamped response, then this x becomes equal to V and hence forward this equation will give us the value of the voltage across the uh, individual branches. Uh, so that's all for the second order differential equations uh, and the second order circuits. So till the next lecture, uh, take care and laugh is.